Zoom has just dropped a major update and it fixes some of the problems that had the whole internet in a tizzy. You're not sure what I'm talking about? Stick around and welcome to Doc Rock Tips. Aloha internet people, welcome to Doc Rock Tips. I am that dude, Doc Rock. Today I'm here to talk to you about the latest Zoom update which has a lot of people shaking in their boots, but those who figured it out so far, they're kinda happy. And I'm gonna explain to you why. Well, let's get with a little backstory real quick. Zoom, as you know, with the global pandemic became the darling of the internet when it comes to video conferencing software. This juggernaut shot past things like Google Hangouts, which is now Google Meet, WebEx, GoToMeeting, BlueJeans, some of the other guys that have been out forever. Zoom all of a sudden just took off and went through the roof. Well, with their mercurial rise, they became a target for near the wells to try to do weird things like hacking your meetings, uh, Zoom bombing, coming in, dropping, say, uh, not so savory content into your meetings and stuff. What Zoom had to do was make some security changes. And with those security changes, they broke some core functionality, which a lot of Zoom users rely on. And one of those things happened to be virtual cam. You might ask yourself, what's a virtual cam and why do I care? Well, let me explain it to you. If you happen to use an application like myself, like Ecamm Live, when you're using a Zoom conference or Zoom meeting, you might wanna bring in your own flavor, your own graphics, your own presentation, some things that are a little bit different from screen sharing. So I could drop something cool like this, a quick reminder for you to subscribe. If you haven't done so, go ahead and do it while I finish this explanation. It's right down there. Well, basically, I want to bring these graphics in when I'm using the Zoom meeting, and so do a lot of other people. This has added some incredible core functionality to the Zoom application. But in their haste to secure from the weird dudes like photo bombers, Zoom broke that core functionality, and people went, no! Because Virtual Cam was one of the casualties of their update. Zoom also stated that in order to keep you safe, they were gonna require mandatory updates coming up at the end of this month, which will be in a couple of days. And that sent everyone crazy. Trust me, those changes sent everyone to a tizzy and their support desks must have been lighting up like that one weird couple down the street from you that lights up their whole neighborhood during Christmas like they wanna win an award on that one ABC show. You don't know them? It might be you. Merry Christmas. What Zoom did was actually listen to everyone and they made some major changes and we're gonna jump into that right now. Like I mentioned before, Zoom had made some incredible announcements stating that they have upgraded their encryption and their protection in order to keep everyone safe. And one of the things that they did was said that they were gonna require a mandatory update, as you see right here, by May 30th, which is happening in a couple days. Well, this had a lot of people worried because this was gonna be a required action. It says right here. But up until now, Zoom had basically been in a situation where your virtual cameras were not going to work and that just had a lot of people majorly upset. So let's see what they did. If you happen to be running Zoom and you happen to use a program like Ecamm Live in order to use your virtual camera, then all you need to do is come over into, into uh, Zoom and one of the options is you can click the update button here. If you don't see that for some reason, click on your profile and come down to check for updates. Either one of the two will work. And you'll see that it says right here in version 5.04, one of the changes is they have re-enabled virtual camera support. And that my friends is huge, it's huge, it's gonna be huge. It also says minor bug fixes. Why do developers always write minor bug fixes? What the heck does that mean? Anyway, let's go ahead and press install. I'm gonna to try to talk to you and do this at the same time, so stay with me now. So it's gonna say some stuff and tell you some stuff and it's gonna do an installation. And through the magic of television, we have installed an update. Wait, this isn't television, this is YouTube. Now that we have the update installed, let's take a look at Zoom. If you come over to Zoom and hit Command Comma to open up the preferences and you jump on over here to video, you'll see that Ecamm Live Virtual Camera is available. And this is a big deal because again, like I said, if you wanted to inject your own personal graphics and stuff, this is where you would do it. So what you're actually seeing, which is a little meta, is you're seeing me operate the zoom camera through the zoom camera with 
Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But if I switch the scene, this will disappear. So we'll just leave it here. But the good thing to know is that it is back. As you can see, Virtual Cam is a very useful utility. It allows you to do cool things like drop in your subscription link there on the bottom. And at this time, I gotta remind you, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I do a lot of live training now, and with live training, it's a little bit better because it's more interactive, and I can ask your questions on the fly. I can answer your questions on the fly too. Anyway, wanna send a quick shout out to a couple of people. I wanna send a shout out to new subscribers, Gizzy Credit. He's out there doing great things. If you have questions about your credit, go and check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Also wanna send a shout out to Francis Monosipit, another new subscriber who's been very interactive. Been asking a lot of questions, learning a lot of cool things. I really, really dig that dude. Thank you guys so much for your support. Again, if you wanna get a shout out, let me know in the comments, I'll shout you out. You got a new channel, a small channel, and you need some love, let me know. I'll shoot it out there. Because I'm like that dude. I like to show the aloha. That's how we do it in Hawaii. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you again in the next video. Aloha.